Hey guys, and welcome back to more of Legend Zelda Scoured Sword with 4xv5. In the last part, we got, um, through the Pirate Stronghold, that was it. And in this part, we're going to be searching for the Sand Ship, which is a skipper's old ship, uh, that a uh, pirate stole from him. And uh, yeah, my laptop is charging with its weird charging, um, got its fussy about it, um, basically. I've had to say it before. Anyway, though, to get to the Sand Ship, we need to douse for it. So I've got up my douser thing here, and I can't believe I only have four hearts. But yeah, it's over there. Now, something I didn't mention about the boat is that if you keep hold of A, you can actually um, go faster with it and it'll have a stamina gorge of its own. I can't believe I forgot about that. It was like one of the first things I noticed when I got in the boat for the first time in my first playthrough. But either way, uh, at least normal spumes, we can actually just run over these, can't we? Oh, <laughs> that's amazing! Oh, it's like a spume derby. Okay, right. Um, so if we head over here, unfortunately, I don't, can you speed ahead? Yeah, you're a nice one. You can uh, speed ahead. Um, but you can't really see where you're going if you're dowsing at the same time. But either way, we're going to head over here. And I do believe we're heading towards this area here. So this is where um, mainly we're going to be. Although there will be a surprise coming up. So get ready for that. So it's all the way over there. Looks like some sort of watchtower over there. And bye bye, Spew. Whee! Oh god, that's hilarious. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh. Reminds me of when you'd like just. Um, like if someone said do a backflip on the trampoline uh, and you'd say oh I can do that mate," and then you'd try it and then you'd, you'd completely fail and end up just doing it on your back but then you'd be like oh my god I bounced on my back I'm so amazing but really was that just me oh it, it probably was just me either way though we're over here now uh, and where are we where are we let's have a look so oh no we're all the way over here so let's have a look then it's very very close so remember what uh, Skipper said in the last part. A good point, um, a good strategy to find it and make it visible is to attack it. So we're just going to keep on getting closer here. Although I think it's sort of getting away. Um, right, okay. Let's just try shooting a cannon at it. No, not yet. Okay, it's obviously not. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's it gone now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. You little dipshit, come back here. Oh, 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 very close. Very close indeed. Oh, I think we're banging against it. There we go. Did you see it? R? Oh, sorry. That's uh, time for my pirate voice. That's my ship, R. We must pursue R and keep pounding it with the cannon. So we've got to pound it with the cannon. In Hang on, what did it just like away from us like ages ago? Anyway, though, there we go. And it's come to a standstill. You may not think it, guys, but this is the fifth dungeon of the game, the Sandship. Strange to call it a dungeon, but that's what it is. Okay, so, Fee's gonna tell something here, but I'm not gonna listen to it. You know what, I might as well. Your heart. Oh my god, Fee, I wish I never listened to you! Either way, this is the Sandship, the fifth dungeon of the game, and remember in the um, ancient system when I said uh, the next dungeon we were gonna go to was unique? This is probably the most unique dungeon in the game, one of the most unique ones in Zelda series overall. There have been um, dungeons on ships before because um, this sort of thing is very reminiscent of uh, the ghost ship in Wind Waker and in Phantom Hourglass. In Phantom Hourglass it was actually a dungeon, in Wind Waker it was just something um, to get a Triforce chart I do believe. Um, or Triforce piece, I can't really remember. But um, yeah, um, it's got a piece of heart here, so um, finally we've got a piece of heart in a dungeon. But I do actually, I do like this dungeon. The only thing I have to point about it, in my opinion, is the boss. Now, I know some people do like that. I know Tom, I know you like it. Um, and to be honest, I don't really know why I don't like it. It's just I don't really find it a huge amount of having fun with it, if you know what I mean. Like, like Clock Toss me off. <laughs> Wait, I'm still making that joke after like 50 episodes. But, um, instead of Clock Toss me off, he, um, he was it's immensely fun to fight because you could just rip the shit out of him. With, um, the bosses coming up, well, with the boss coming up in this dungeon, not so much, but either way though, let's get started on this dungeon then. So, I think we've got a potion. We've got a fairy. I'm going to just uh, use it because I'm really sick of that beeping noise. Alright. Right, so. Um, 
It is weird to call a space a dungeon, to be honest, because uh, it doesn't really feel dungeon-like, because you are out in an open space. But anyway, uh, let's go through this door over here, so we can get into the ship. Uh, speaking of the doors, it does remind me of the um, the mansion uh, dungeon in uh, Twilight Princess, which is something I really enjoy. But either way, we've got a uh, safe statue here, so let's just activate that. Even though we don't really need to activate these ones, but... Oh well, it's nice to do. And there's a small key that we need. Now, I'm going to be honest, I have once again not read up on this dungeon whatsoever, so expect me to get stuck quite a bit. Um, I'm actually getting fond of getting stuck because I think it makes for some entertaining episodes, if they even if they are annoying. But hopefully I'm cutting out um, bits that are really, really boring when I get, like, too stuck. But anyway, though, do we actually have a statue here or a wall or something? Because these butterflies are gathering around this bit here, is it? Um, no? Are you just random butterflies in here, then? No? Oh, okay, that's one. Right, now, I think... Oh, I really shouldn't have used that potion now. I could have got some hearts. Alright, let's just get some rupees, though. Okay. Right, so, thank you. And can we actually center with this? No, we can't. Okay, it feels a bit weird out, and out of place at the moment, but oh well. Let me try and uh, draw a really big one. Oh yeah, I've had practice with the uh, drawing from the Celestial Brush and Okami. Even if it can be a bit unresponsive at times, but... Anyway, uh, let's see, what have we got here? Is that, I thought it was going to be some sort of map thing, but that's actually the um, symbol of Nehru. Um, it's actually... What was I going to say? I was going to say something like, uh, there's uh, Nehru's one, which is like free travel things. Uh, Din's one, which I actually can't remember. Uh, Din is the next sort of goddess thing we'll be going to, and uh, Faroes, if, or Faroes, if you were uh, like me and call her that. Um, but have we got anything down here? I don't think we have, have we? No? Oh, just 20 rupees. Come on, game. Come on, don't be a douche. But yeah, like with the Linear Mining Facility, we'll be going through here, and there will be quite a few time shift stone puzzles um, once again. And there's some miraculous. Oh, there. oh no, there's Thunder Keys, okay. I actually don't think I put them in the bio, I might have done, I might have just put ordinary keys in there because Thunder Keys don't actually have official artwork, I don't believe. But anyway, let's go through here. Okay, right. So we've got a bars there. We've got a Techno Blin here, which actually, actually hasn't been activated yet, Jesus. Uh, right, I've got uh, cables there. Hearts here, woohoo! And whoa, 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 quicksand. Okay, I, <laughs> I did not notice that whatsoever. I'm just get rid of these and get. No, nothing. For God's sake. Uh, Electro Spear, right, let's just kill that then. Hopefully my Skyward Strike can reach it, if it can from there. No. Th oh, shit! I was in the quicksand! God, it feels like my guy, my friend at PGL. Poor guy. Anyway, though, uh, let's uh, roll a bomb towards him. Stop being lazy and just roll one towards him. There we go. Now, can we actually run across there? I think we'll be able to make it. Let's see how we're getting out of here either way, so let's just head down here then. Yeah, we we've made that. Yeah, just. Um, right, so we've got some uh, cabins here, which are locked, so I guess we can't go through them yet. Also got, oh, I remember this, this is ca actually quite an annoying puzzle. Um, well, there can be if you don't know what you're doing, of course. Well, uh, anyway, let's see. Um, oh, more, uh, no, 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 Gus Bellows, there we go. I'm nearly filled up on our B items, I actually cannot remember what the last, oh no, I can. We get it in here, duh. Um, I'm not sure what we get in the sixth dungeon, though. Uh, well, actually, how many dodges are there in this game? I think there's seven. Yeah, there'll, there'll be seven, won't there? Yeah, alright then. But what, what Zelda game has the most dungeons? Is it Ocarina of Time? Because I think that has nine, doesn't it? Or, yeah, nine. Is it nine? Eight or nine? I can't I can't remember, but... Yeah, it's, it's a lot of dungeons in the game, and holy shit! Holy mother of Arachna! Look at them things! Oh god, they're creepy. It looks creepy out of the walk. Ugh, it's like spiders. Right, okay, let's uh, throw a bomb in here and see what it does. No, 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 no! No, this isn't the time! This isn't the time! Okay, uh, shield. Can I shield? Can I do what I do in... No, I can't. Okay. Uh, him and Joe's mask in a time. That would have worked. Can you stop rolling off? And can I just... Get off! Right, blow up! No! Don't roll all the way past! Right, blow up! <laughs> blow up! Goodness me! Okay, that isn't... They're not doing anything either. Let me throw one instead. Because I'm running out of them here. Oh, God's sake. Actually, pick that up. Pick that up! Pick that up! Store it! Whew. That's a good tactic to um, avoid... No, you know what? That ain't working. I'm just gonna go with my sword. It's not working, guys. I tried to be clever. 
I tried to do something unique, it just didn't work. And woohoo, we're getting loads of jelly bobs like in here. Get off! Oh crap, are we... Oh right, we ran out of stamina. And, oh right, oh yeah, I forgot a, sp a spin attack can actually uh, get you items. As well as your sword. Don't think this guy strike can now. Right, die, all of you! And god, where are all these place things coming from? Whoa, 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 give me that jelly bob before it disappears. Right, go... Shit, you just, there's no end to them! There's no end! It never ends! Right, get off! Get off! I want to spin attack you. Right, there we go. Right, die. Right, okay. Yeah, that was, that was pretty fun, I will admit. Alright. Let's carry on down here then. And haven't we been already? Why is there another random stave statue? Do they think we're going to play the game for like 15 minutes then quit it? That's not exactly how Zelda works unless you're doing those re really tedious side quests that are really cryptic. Um. Also, if you're a Gaming 98 fan, I'm pretty sure we can't inform you. But it won't be able to upload until Saturday, I do believe. I probably should have mentioned this yesterday, but I didn't actually know. Uh, one second, I'll just read says. Fee says, oh, she wants us to take a look at something again. Like, I need your permission, Fee. This large door here is sealed shut. No shit. This door must lead to an important room in the ship. I'm pretty sure all the rooms are important to complete it. Anyway, um, he won't be able to upload until Saturday because his internet has gone kaput. And he's always telling me to suck my internet out a little hypocritical bastard. <laughs> but, um, no, um, he won't be able to upload until Saturday. Um... I mean, I know my incest bad, but it's never like shut off completely. Mind you, I live in a I live in an obscure part of England, but I still get decent internet. It's really weird, but my I think it's my rooster that's like really weird with it. Either way, we've got another puzzle here of uh, one of these Lotus doors. Now to uh, get rid of these, well, to figure out the puzzle for this dungeon for it, we're gonna need to cuss bellows all the sand away. Now this can be an, a huge ass. Um, because, like I said in the, um, was it a shipyard when I was fighting Mol Moldorak for the second time? I don't know if sand comes back here, but it definitely is really awkward to get away. It's like, that little park particle of sand, it's not going away, see? It took me ages to get it away. And it can be really frustrating when it doesn't go away, when it's, um, hiding the clue to what you have to do. But, um, let's just, uh, see this. Now, I do believe that, I'm not actually sure, to be honest. Right, oh, I know, I get it now, because I got stuck with this at first. What you got to do is you've got to look at where the red point is. Now, wherever the red point is at the top, that's where uh, north is pointing. I actually found that um, for a compass the other day as well. But, uh, yeah, so the first one is south. So, you just got to look at that, because at first I was really, really confused of uh, which one I was supposed to hit, because, you know, th they're all there, but they don't really signify what means what. But, um, anyway, let's go in the next room here. And push away all the sand once again. Oh god, this can be so tedious. Don't know why I'm blowing this bit away, but who gives a shit? Alright, so it's south. South, hang on, just got an itchy neck. Ow, damn it. Why was I even. I never get an itchy neck. I, in fact, I don't even get itchy that lot because I'm hygienic. Anyway, uh, south, north. Um, south again, and then, so, north, no, south, north, south, and then, right, is it, is it right, what's right on the compass, is it east, yeah, east, okay, so, we've got, right, let's see if I can do this in one go, right, so, well, I failed already, because it's south first, for God's sake, right, south, north, south, east, oh, wait, shall I just try start it again? Right, wait till it comes to the top. Right, there we go. Okay. Right, so. Um, south, north, south, east. There we go. Alright, let's let head through here then. And I'm guessing this is going to be possibly, possibly, a small key. And what do you know? It's a small key. This key will open a locked door, you can only use it in this area. Alright, okie dokie, uh, a chokey. Let's head through here then. Now, isn't that, I know this is really, I'm going on about the doors a lot for some reason. I don't, I don't have a door fetish, I promise. And What's through that uh, thing? Oh no, it's um, coiled up, okay. I thought something we could use our whip through, because, uh, like I said, the whip doesn't really get a lot of uh, uses after the um, fourth dungeon, and even in there, it didn't get a huge amount of use. Well, I suppose it did, to be honest, because it was a dungeon it was supposed to be used for. Um, whoa, 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 where did you lot come from? Oh no, you were trying to attack me before I left the room, weren't you? Yeah, you little hoe. 
Your little whore bag. All oh, right, okay. And I think you should put your finger on it, Link, just to see how sharp it is. Just to demonstrate to us that we shouldn't touch monster claws. No, no. I'll tell you what I watched yesterday. I watched. I don't know if you lot have any uh, watched it before, but I watched. Um, I watched it when I was quite uh, young, when it first came out. I wasn't really young. I was in like the first year of school, uh, secondary school. Uh, I watched Bridge to Terabithia. Now I can remember being extremely sad uh, for a few days after it because the film was that depressing, and I thought, you know what? I'll watch it again. Boy, I wish I did not watch it because it was depressing. I mean, um, the thing is, loads of people. I found uh, it's really weird how like so it affects me. I mean, I know some people are more uh, sensitive than others. Uh, with like sort of pushing kind of thing and there's actually been loads of people on forums and don't ask me why I searched for this because I thought you know what I'm gonna see if anyone's got any problems for this not that I do but um actually can my Gus Bellows uh, make that fan go oh my god it can wow is it gonna do anything cool come on activate something it's not gonna activate anything is it come on oh that's, that's a shame oh I thought I would do Alright, but um, yeah, I was watching it and I went to these forums because I was like, you know what, I'm going to see if anyone actually has, like, there's got extremely depressed over this. But, and some people have actually got very depressed over it, like, they've become obsessed with it and things like that. I know people, some people are weird like that, but in, in a strange way, I can understand them because it is very depressing. I mean, at first, it's good. Um, and more fun the case, go away. I mean, if, it's a good film, I do like it and I will watch it again, but. I would not watch it like day in day out because it is quite a depressive film and it's a Disney film. And I'm not going to uh, uh, spoil what happens in case you haven't seen it, but oh, it, it's sad. It is sad. And the thing is, Disney market it is like a really happy film, whereas you know it is. But then it suddenly takes a strange twist, and you're like, whoa, whoa, what? What? That was quite sudden and abrupt and sad, but <laughs> it's a sad film. Uh, either way though, uh, let's head through this uh, door and I think this might be the mini boss of this dungeon. And it is! And welcome to uh, whatever his name is. I actually don't really know it off by heart. Anyway, though, I'm going to leave that bio up for a moment because uh, this guy is actually quite difficult. Well, not difficult, but uh, he, uh, he can get a bit annoying because <laughs> I'm having to shield bash him here so I can read out the bio. But um, there's only one of this guy in the game, although there is one uh, similar to him later on. But um, he's not that too much of a big of a threat. But anyway, we've got to push him off the edge. So let's go start doing that now. So let's just uh, hit him here. And you've got to make sure he doesn't put you on that spike bit, and shield bashing him is great, because there's a spiked uh, wall behind us. Oh god, we're doing quite well here. you just got to try and stay out the way of his hook, because his hook is, is his shield. So just uh, be careful with that. And as you see, we're nearly pushing him off already. Oh crap, that kind of hurt. Right, if you can shield bash him, he's not too bad. And can his, can his sword block us as well? No, it can't. Oh, I thought it could. Oh crap, um, come on. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be a douche. Right, hit me. Right, come on. Don't hit me then. There we go. <laughs> you shit. Right, come on. We're nearly there. Oh, come on. Come on. Sorry, I'm not speaking that much. I've just got to concentrate here because you've got to work, work on uh, timing quite a lot. And you know what I'm like? I really am... Uh, bad with timing. As you can see there, it does use electricity, so if you're using the iron shield, you're pretty much screwed for this part. Um, if you uh, want a shield bash, because you can't really. Oh, well, that's cheating. We nearly got you off then. This reminds me of the um, Bowser's Inside story, where you have to fight that big tower and push him off the edge. Can we just like dive on him? Oh, I can't. Right, he's got more difficult timing in this phase. But just keep on going, you should be okay. And come on. We're nearly there. Come on. Oh shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh god. 
And come on, right. We were right near the edge, cutscene. Don't put us back. And actually, quite. Did that take like two arts on me? Oh shit, okay. Um, he's kind of hurting me. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. This uh, really isn't working. Oh shit, come on! Uh, right, just take it easy, Ben. Right, wait for him to spin around. Right, um, um, wait, wait. Uh, just take it easy, Ben. Just take it easy. Nice and easy does it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Move. Right, okay, so I'm suggesting just keep slashing him until he blocks you. Come on! Whoa, 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 and then do a backflip. Unless you are confident with your shield abilities. Right. Come on, buddy, there! Yes! I apologise if I was saying the same thing over and over again, but bloody hell, that was quite nerve-wracking. Master, that synthetic life form, there's a 99% chance that it, was what, that it was the parrot described by the captain. I can't help but admire the tendon... the tenant. I'm really embarrassed when I cannot read these words, but um, it is displayed in... Okay, it stayed alive for a lot of years, that's the point she's making. Right, let's open this chest and get a well-deserved reward. So, we finally get the bow. Now you can hit targets at a very long range. Uh, arrows also do a lot more damage than Deku seeds. Press the set uh, down to center your aim and all that shit, yeah. I don't know why I was trying to make that sound new, because it obviously wasn't. Master, a report about the bow you have just obtained. Your bow's elast elast elastic. -y. Oh my god, I can read that word, but when I see it, I cannot. Elasticity, or whatever it's called. Can repel others through the air? Okay, we know how to work the bow, Fee. We've played Zelda before. Yeah, whatever. Whatever's Mert. You want to shoot arrows to strike certain devices in order to activate them? Okay. I've confirmed that such a device exists on the deck. Well, we should probably head back to the deck then. Yes, okay, Fee. Oh, God, just so annoying. Alright, so let's head back then. So, um, I think I'll end it off here then because there's a safe structure right out here. But in this part, we do what we did. We got onto the sand ship and got the bow and arrow. Um, you know, it's just called the bow. Imagine if it just gave you a bow with no arrows and there was like no arrows in the game. How trollish would that be? Well, let's just have it in this barrel. Well, and yeah, anyway. So in this part, we did what I just said. We do what we did. And in the next part, we're going to be carrying on through the sand ship and finding out what we can do with the bow. So I shall see you then.